Hi, I'm Shannon, the Garden Girl from Georgina Garden Center. We have a whole bunch of greens here you can choose from to make your winter urns, your wreaths, uh, decorate your mantle, or garlands. So I'm just gonna go through some quickly here. This one is uh, Carolina Sapphire. It has slight blue tint to it. It's a nice accent piece to add in little bits and pieces here and there to your main um, arrangement. Uh, this one here, this is a, is a really good one. You can see some cones on it. This one's BC Cedar. It's very popular. It's really nice in urns when you want that droopy effect. You can see how droopy it is and adds nice um, contrast with the other greens and smells really nice. Then we have Incense Cedar. So this one is, an again, just an accent piece. You can see the nice uh, gold tips on it smells really nice as well and you this one you can add in it's a little bit shorter so you can add it into smaller arrangements centerpieces wreaths garlands um, depending on how big your outdoor arrangement is you can put it into that as well but it, the gold or the yellow with the green and the different textures is really nice this one here is along the lines used for the same purposes as the incense cedar this is juniper berry so you can see the bright blue berries on it um, this stuff's a lot more stiff um, so you just use little pieces of it for an accent in uh, wreaths, centerpieces, um, or along your mantle. It's kind of harder to put into inserts. You can, it would stand straight up, and you just put a few little pieces for a pop of blue. Then we have, this is Port Orford Cedar. And Port Orford um, is very similar to the BC Cedar. It's not quite as droopy or as floppy. It has a nice uh, blue tint you can see through there. It's very lacy looking. This one smells lovely as well. It's almost a completely different smell than the other um, evergreens. And this one, like I said, is not as droopy as the BC Cedar, but there is still some droop, but a lot more upright than the BC Cedar. A really nice, uh, different texture, fine texture in the inserts. This one here is just an accent as well. This one's uh, variegated Oregonia. It looks a lot like boxwood. And again, just another nice different texture to add in. You get some white, some green, makes it look really elegant. Um, it's nice in as an accent in your wreaths and in your garlands, it looks really nice in there. Then we have Noble Fur. This is a short needled green. This side is slightly bluish, this side's a little bit more green. So you can mix and match both sides to get different colors and textures. Great in your urn inserts. And then the two main ones that we use, um, like your base of your wreaths, garlands, and your inserts, this one is white pine. It's nice and soft, long needled, fills in really nicely. Uh, you can do a f arrangement with just this. You can do anything with just this or mix it in with the cedar and get a really nice contrast. And both of them really fill out any of your projects. This one's your as we say regular cedar or Ontario cedar or white cedar but both of them together they just work really well easy to work with and just create a really nice arrangement when you're done.